Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been such a long time since I have sat down and filmed a sit down video with you guys and let me tell you, it took a little bit more effort because I have not put makeup on this face or done the, my hair in a while and let's just say I'm gonna try to film as many sit down videos today as possible to not have to go through this again. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. I'm very lucky that uh, my family is doing pretty well, all considering. And yeah, I'm excited to be here again with you guys and especially excited to share a new cup with you. I've had a lot of people during this, you know, shelter in place and whatever, shut down, contact me asking me if I was going to do another period product review for you. And it has been a while since my last one, so I did one. <laughs> So today's video is going to be about the Kind Cup. The Kind Cup is actually an interesting cup, not only because it looks different than all the other cups that I've tried, but also because I truly believe that this is probably one of the few cups that I have reviewed that from start to production and just everything that's involved with it has actually stuck to the motto of sustainability and earth friendly. You know, everything from the packaging to the carrying pouch to just just where the product is developed and delivered in California. Everything is well thought out and processed to be as kind to the environment <laughs> that was my little pun there, as possible, where I feel like a lot of cup companies, even though they say and you know promote the whole earth friendly thing, I don't really necessarily feel like that's their main goal. I really do feel like Kind Cup goes the extra mile when it comes to everything involved to make it and its packaging and everything involved as sustainable as possible, which I really, really appreciate. Now the founder of Kind Cup, her name is Christine. She reached out to me a while ago to do a review. I will say you guys, I've said this before, I do these reviews purely for you at this point. I found a lot of cups that work really well for me and I will say that um, I don't need to make these, I don't need to make these videos anymore and I don't necessarily feel a need to keep shoving random things up me uh, for the sake of just like trying them. Um, I do these because I want to help you guys be educated. I do these because I want to normalize periods still. I do these because I want to be able to bring you products and tell you how they've worked for me in hopes that I can help you have a better period. So with that being said, I understand how frustrated you guys get when I don't come out with a new period product video every month, but I'm not getting paid for most of these videos right now. Ad sales have been extremely low, so even though I'm getting the views on some of these videos, the ones that haven't been demonetized already are making a lot less than they used to, which wasn't a whole lot to begin with. So, you know, just keep that in mind when you're emailing me and messaging me and commenting on things. I want to do these for you, but at the same time, especially lately since I've been a little bit down and you know, our, I've had all my kids at home now for a long time. We're cooped up in the small house and John's working from home. Um, we have two dogs. It's hard for me to sit down and be able to collect my thoughts and have these moments with you guys or even think about, you know, trying a new product um, during my period when I'm already kind of like stressed out because I'm on my period. Yeah, just, just keep, keep that in mind. But Kind Cup, Christine, contacted me a while ago and I finally uh, had the mindset to be able to respond and kind of connect and figure out if I wanted to do this review. And I will say I've been contacted by a lot of different companies lately and uh, it says a lot that I'm bringing you this one because, and I'm ruining, I always spoil these things, but um, it says a lot that I want to actually talk about this one because out of all the ones that I've been sent and asked to do reviews for lately, this is the only one that I have in the past couple months because I just like the company and brand and the person who founded this company. So, all right, so let's take a look at the cup and it's and everything involved. You know, I already mentioned that everything is very eco-friendly and sustainable. The packaging is very simple. It's not anything flashy. It very clearly shows you what it looks like on the outside. It shows you placement also right there, kind of, you know, where it sits. I really love how realistic this box is, how honest this box is and just kind of 
I don't know. I will. I just. I like that. There's nothing hiding from what this product is, which is pretty cool. The linen bag is also very sustainable. I like the way it looks. To be completely honest, to bring this linen bag out, there's a new cup in here, but I want to get my hands all over it. <laughs> I don't use my little pouches because if I think or know that I'm going to start my period or I'm close to starting my period, I just put a cup in before I leave if I'm going to, or I wear like period underwear in case I start out in public. I don't necessarily take my cup with me. It's either in me or it's at home in my shower. So this has been sitting in my shower on the shelf since I started using it. So this linen pouch, because it's so cute, it's really all natural and versatile. I've been putting doggy poop bags in here <laughs> by the door. Uh, and then I like cinch it and then I just kind of pull out my roll and like take it off. Also, you could untie this and then put it on the handle and it makes a really nice lightweight uh, doggy poop bag thing. So I don't know if you need an idea of what to use your period pouches for this. I really like because it just, I don't know. It's cute and it really looks cute. Like hanging from my dog leash or like by the front door and all that. Anyways, so yeah, uh, this is a linen bag, sustainable, made as well. They do donate a lot of cups, which I really like. Christine, I think I got off track. Christine, the founder is actually also an avocado farmer. Auto avocado farm farmer and she sent uh, my family a big box of avocados not too long ago and they are amazing um, if you like fresh avocado and fruit I will leave her information if I can find it underneath this video but they do sell that kind of stuff as well not like through kind cup but like that's just something her family does and I will say that it they were the best avocados like my daughter and I were just like eating them by the spoonfuls with a little bit of sriracha on top um, they're amazing. So yeah, I just, I really like this cup and the company that it stands for. But anyways, the packaging, that's what you get. You also get really nice, clear instructions inside. I don't really feel like I need to show you guys that, but you do get that. This cup is a little bit pricey compared to some of the other cups that I've recently been reviewing. It is $39.99 plus shipping, which I believe is like $4.99 or $5. I think it's worth it in my personal opinion. I would spend that much on this cup just because of all the other extras that they do. You know, they are truly sustainable. They are trying to produce everything locally to where they're at to limit their carbon footprint. Also, it's made in the US. Medical grade silicone is being used. The cup itself is really amazing. I would spend the extra to help a company or to support a company that is doing all these extra things to, um, again, be more mindful and more sustainable. So that's where some of the extra cost comes into play. They are also still a smaller company, so keep that in mind. So yeah, I don't think the price point, I mean, again, it's a little bit of sticker shock, but I will use this for the next 10 years. And I said this to one of my friends the other day, I was at Costco doing some shopping and this girl in front of me, she had two huge boxes of like pads and tampons. And all I could think was that was probably costing her about like 60 bucks. And I can't even remember the last time I like bought a disposable period product other than for my teenage daughter who has still not converted to cups which I'm trying to do. But yeah, I have two daughters so I would rather spend $50 once every 10 years than not even $45 once every 10 years than spend as much money as that girl was spending or even as much as I would spend on myself and two daughters as well while we're all cycling. So I think the price point is okay for this cup for right now. Hopefully maybe prices will come down as they grow. About the cup in general, it is a more ergonomic shape. As you can see, it has a slant to it. When you think about your vagina and your anatomy in general, your cup sits a little bit like this. You know, your canal comes at a curve. It doesn't just come straight down. There's a little bit of a curve. So the idea of this is that I think it's a little bit angled so that it can sit nicely and snugly and comfortable without interfering with your bladder or pushing on things that it shouldn't be pushing on that might make it uncomfortable. It has a nice size to it. So I think it's got a good capacity. It tapers off really nicely at the bottom, even though it is really bulbous at the bottom, it, because it's angled, doesn't 
bulbous right at your opening if that makes sense which I really really like the stem is really long which is really nice because for people who are super tall I have a girlfriend who is tall and no matter like what size that I've given her so far she's had issues with like getting the cup out or reaching it so I like that the stem is extra long there are the little grippers on it to be able to get it and find your cup you can also trim it back if it's too long like I would rather have the option of trimming back than not being able to have it longer. I thought the stem would drive me insane in regards to like feeling it. I am that person who usually snips stems or I used to be until I started finding cups that were actually better fitted for my body um, but I did not have to snip this. I will say that the only time the stem sticking out because it sticks out like you can actually it sticks out of me. Um, I will say the only time that was an issue was when I'm wiping with toilet paper it gets caught on this and drags so I will be trimming it back a little bit just so I don't have that issue but in general this cup the shape, everything, it makes sense to me in my mind and even though there's only a size regular, I think because it is so nicely ergonomically shaped, I think it should work for a large amount of people. So I love this cup a lot and I'm realizing right now that it's been a while since I've made one of these videos and I kind of got off track in my talking about it and I've kind of just spoiled all the things I would normally talk about at the end after I show you my bloody clips. So I think I'm just going to show you the bloody clips just to prove that it worked in my first experience with it at the end and just continue talking about my experience with this cup now. Um, I already said I love this cup. It is, I, and again, I'm spoiling the next video I wanted to film. I'm coming out with a video of my top 10 or top five or whatever in order cups because as so many of you guys have been asking for an updated one. I'm gonna go ahead and ruin that video and just say that this is tied for first place with my favorite cup and that you'll see that in the next video that I post about it. Um, I'm not gonna say what the other cup is that is tied for first because I don't wanna spoil that video completely and also that wouldn't be fair because I'm reviewing the Kind Cup right now. I don't wanna talk about another cup, uh, but this is my favorite cup. I, I, really, I really love this cup. It's very comfortable. It's very comfortable and again I really it's very it's very rare when I fully align with all the other things that the company is doing um, or even just the founders or things like that like I don't have any weird icky feelings towards this company which I think there's maybe honestly if I'm being honest and spilling some tea there's only one other company who is also tied for first with this cup that I feel that way about which yeah, I really love this cup. I enjoy it. I will say complication wise with it. I had a hard time and you'll see this in the clips at the end of this video where I show my blood. I had a hard time putting it in. Not because of the way I was folding it because the push down or punch down fold works really well like they say in the instructions. I do suggest that as your fold if you are uh, comfortable with that. My issue was, was after I would get it in, I felt like it was opening, but then I felt like my cervix, here's my cervix, I felt like it was doing this. Like I didn't feel like the back of it was like getting behind or underneath my cervix. I don't know why, I just, it, it just, it took me forever to do it. Like I kept trying to scoop it under. <laughs> it, it took a while. Um, the first time I used it, I managed to like arrange it so that my cervix was in the right spot or so I thought, and it worked no leak whatsoever no cramps like it worked superbly I loved it but then I was like oh if it's gonna take this long to get the cup in every single time and get my cervix adjusted is it worth it but the second time I put it back in I just said you know what screw it let's see what happens if I don't fiddle with it if I just put it in pop it open and just let it be and not even worry where my cervix is sitting see what happens and sure enough it didn't matter for me that my cervix from that I felt was exactly like sitting on top behind or whatever. It still somehow caught all the blood and I was perfectly fine and I didn't have a single drop of leaking in my underwear. So with that being said, I think me being me overcomplicated the situation because I'm so used to other cups. I kind of have a hard time not applying those same rules to new cups, especially when they're different. I'm like, okay, why isn't this working? It's supposed to work like those others. But I have to remind myself that this cup is shaped different. It lays different and it is different. So it is gonna not need necessarily the same exact things as the other cups in regards to placements. After I got over that hump of not overthinking things, uh, this thing was just as easy to put in as every other cup. And again, the only issue that I had after that was just that the stem was catching on toilet paper when I was wiping. So I'm just gonna trim that back and that's it. I didn't 
poop it out. I pooped numerous times with this in and um, it stayed in. Yoga with it in, it was fine. Um, I think I actually, I ran with it in about two and a half miles. I was fine with that. I do hope they come out with a smaller size just for um, tweens. I don't know, it'll be nice to see this cup in uh, different sizes eventually when they can. Again, I think that this is pretty suitable for a lot of people though, so that's really nice. And maybe some fun colors. I don't know, there's a bunch of different things that I would love to do if I owned my own cup company or did my own cup thing, but I don't know. It's a pretty good cup though on its own. There's just a lot of things I'm like, man, I wish certain things would change about certain things, but anyways, this is a great cup. I love it. It is tied for my favorites and I don't know what else I can say about it. If you wanna try it out, I highly suggest you do. If you've had issues with cups pressing on your bladder or almost feeling like you have like a beginning of a UTI, I, that's the best I can explain some cups that don't fit right in me. I can kind of, I like I feel like I'm almost getting a UTI from them, um, but I, then I take them out and I feel fine. Try this cup, it's really great. Didn't have any cramping whatsoever. Yeah, that is that for this. Um, if you purchase one and you try it, let me know what you think about it. I'm always interested in hearing what you guys think about the cups that I review. Like I mentioned, I do really wanna keep doing these videos for you guys, just be patient with me. I'm a little bit more picky about who I work with at this point, just because I'm tired of certain companies who maybe aren't doing their best, whether it's even with their relationships with influencers or in general getting ahead and then the people who are trying really hard to better the environment, better the world, better society, not doing as well. So I've become a little bit pickier about what brands I work with. Not saying that I won't work with brands that aren't great, uh, that aren't the greatest, but I don't know. I've just, I've become more picky, which is why there's been less content when it comes to the period stuff. But I promise you I will be bringing back more. Like I said, I'm going to be rating my top. I haven't decided if it's going to be top five or top ten. I feel like top ten is a lot. I think I'm just going to stick to top five menstrual cups for you guys. And I do have a few other ideas for some period related videos. But if you still enjoy these videos, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Comment below on a company that you'd like me to check out next. Again, when you tag me in companies' posts or things like that, or even contact them, they do tend to notice me and reach out to me to talk about reviewing their cups. So that is very helpful if I don't know about these companies to begin with. I love small brand companies. Those have been the best, honestly, for me in regards to me loving them. I don't get paid by them, though. So if you want to donate to my PayPal or Venmo, I do have that listed below. Again, only donate if you really want to and if you can afford to and only donate if my videos have made a difference for you. If they haven't, then I don't deserve a donation from you. I see what I do for you guys as a public service at this point because I do think that you guys deserve good menstrual products and I do think that everyone deserves a really good period and if I can help do that then I will so um yeah that's about it sorry if I seem all over the place I have not done this in a while <laughs> and I feel really uncomfortable for some reason when I shouldn't I, I don't know if you can tell but my face is getting hotter and redder as I go on and I feel like this video is already like two hours long and I feel like I haven't done this cup justice in regards to talking about it but just know that I really really love it it's a very good cup it's very easy to use and as always with any new cup or product that you try I highly suggest you try it at home try it with a backup first and do not sit in on any white furniture uh, while you're testing it out or any new product for periods I'm gonna let you go I will leave the clips of me using these cup using this cup at the end of this and if you don't want to see it, then just stop watching now. But so there's Sean walking in from work and my doggie's barking. Do you want to say hi, Georgie? Come here. Oh, the period community hasn't seen you yet. We've had her for a long time now. She's six months old and she's going to get spayed tomorrow and she has no clue. But I know I feel really bad about that. But I don't want any baby. I don't need to be a grandma. I don't, not yet. I'm too young and I don't have enough space in my house because if she had puppies, you better believe that we'd be keeping every single one of them. But anyways, I will talk to you all later. Thank you, Christine, for creating such a great cup. Thank you for sending me the avocados and my family. They were amazing. Again, I will leave a link to, you can purchase this cup below along with any fruits or avocados or whatever that Christine may be selling uh, below this as well. Again, it, they were really, really good. So. 
I highly suggest those as well. This was not supposed to be an ad for avocados and fruit, but why not? I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you're staying safe to all the essential workers out there who have been working this whole time. Thank you so much. I will say that going grocery shopping and doing all those things has been so stressful for me. And so I can't even imagine having to go to work and facing the public every single day like you do. So thank you to all of you. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye. It is 10.30 at night. I'm at the end of my first full day's period. I started my period yesterday afternoon. It was pretty light, got a little bit heavier overnight. I had a very full period today where I had a lot of clotting and I had to empty my cup twice. And yeah, I had forgotten that I'd gotten this cup in the mail because my husband, with everything going on right now, had quarantined the package. I thought about it when I went to go dump my cup before going to bed right now. And I figured, you know what, like, even though I'm on, you know, middle of my period, I still want to try this cup out. I want to get a cup video out to you guys. I really like the owner of this cup company so far. So yeah, I thought, why not? I'm just going to real quick put it up there and I'm not going to trim my stem because I kind of want to see, I want to see what it's like with the stem fully on. So, okay. I think the most difficult part is going to be for me not to pinch myself with my nails because they are a little bit long right now. I'm trying to scoop the back part underneath my cervix. It's kind of getting caught on my cervix. Come on. I think maybe it's in. Shit. <laughs> ah! Alright, so. I'm going to have to try this again. I'm having an issue of. The cup is not getting around my cervix. My cervix wants to just stay right here and the cup is doing this to it. So I need to get it, I need to find a way to like scoop it under. <laughs> yeah, so I think if I push it towards my tailbone a little bit more and then release maybe. Nope, okay, come on. I want to use you cup, get it open. All right, cool. All right, so it is completely behind my cervix at this point, that back end. Um, yeah, it's, it's in there. I don't feel it at all. I don't feel the stem. I don't feel full. I don't feel crampy. Usually when I know I'm not gonna like a cup, I instantly cramp. This feels fine. This actually feels good. <laughs> like I don't feel it at all. It's a really good sign. So, struggles aside for inserting it for the first time. I feel really good about this cup so far. So, I'm gonna go brush my teeth, go to bed, try to go to bed, I don't know, stare at my ceiling for five hours because that's how life has been lately. Um, and then I will update you guys in the morning. All right guys, so it is Exactly 12 hours later. It's 10.30 in the morning. I slept, well I didn't really sleep in. I woke up at like 8.39 but then, you know, just sat in bed and looked at my phone killing brain cells. Yeah, let's check this cup. I will say that I was completely comfortable last night. I still don't feel the cup. There was a moment last night when I was moving around that I felt the stem, but not like annoyingly. It was just like I was moving and it was there. So not a complaint though, because again, it wasn't it wasn't annoying, it was just, it was moving and it was between my labia so I could feel it. So anyways, let's uh, take it out. I really have to pee, but usually, I don't know, I'm just gonna get take it out. So um, this is odd, the stem actually extends outside of my body by a half an inch and I couldn't feel it. So that's a really good sign. You guys know stems usually bother me and I cut them off. Slowly, there's no leaking whatsoever in my underwear. That's cool. Here's my period panties, no leaking. My battery's about to die, so I need to show you guys this quickly. Um, lots of blood clotting, but there's no, minus that drip on the outside that just came there from um, the blood clot that I just pulled off. There's no blood on the outside. That is a clean cup, super comfortable, caught on my blood, no leaking. In my period underwear, I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that result. 
I'm going to just put it in and let my cervix kind of hang back there and just see what happens. Maybe this cup's a little bit different and it doesn't need to be placed where my other cups are because of the shape. And I'm just gonna let it be and hope and pray that it works. Last night somehow I got it placed perfectly, but today it just doesn't wanna go. So I'm just gonna put it in like I normally would with any cup, make sure there's suction. I'm gonna leave it be. So we'll see how that works. Hopefully it works just as well because it's this big of a struggle to get it in. I don't know. I mean, I really like it once it's in. We'll see, I put it in really quickly again. I know my cervix is kind of hanging over that back lip. We'll see though if maybe the slopey shape directs the blood in there still, like the Femi Cycle does. You know, the Femi Cycle doesn't have to be placed perfectly, which is why I loved that cup so much when I would use it all the time. I say that in past tense because I just haven't grabbed for it for some reason. Um, I lost the one that I was using and they sent me new ones recently. I just haven't cracked those boxes open yet. But yeah, I like the Femi Cycle because you could just place it however and it's still somehow suctioned in the blood. It didn't really matter where your cervix was, um, which made it really dummy proof for me in the beginning. Um, so maybe this cup is kind of like that. We will see when we check in later today. All right, guys, I'm a hot mess. My hair is disgusting and my camera is about to die. So I'm just going to really quickly show you guys. This is my day's worth. I kept it in the whole entire time of blood. No leaking, as you can see. So it did not really matter that I didn't have the cup completely behind my uh, cervix and underneath it. So that is pretty darn cool. That makes me feel a lot better about this cup. That means I don't need to really struggle with it as I was doing the first time. You live and you learn. This is a great cup.